everybody, it's Larry. Welcome to today's video. We have a special video, an announcement video, and it's about MyHeritage, and they have a new DNA match filter on genetic groupings. So we're going to take a quick look at that. This is a very short video. Like I said, it's more of a service announcement so that you know it's there because it will help some people. It won't help everybody, but it will help some people. So if you go to MyHeritage, and up at the top you click DNA and DNA matches, you notice that neither one of these say new. So there is nothing that lets you know it's there except that I'm sharing this video with you, all right? And so once you get there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually click on the word filters. Now it's brought up the DNA match list and we've hidden them out. You click on the word filters, all right? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna open the filters bar, uh, this bar right here. And right here, there's a new, and it says new here. You wouldn't have known that unless you went to DNA, went to matches and clicked on filters. And it's the only way you would have spotted this. So when you click on the genetic groups, all, you know, it says all genetic groups because that's the default is everything. You actually get subgroups. Now, I only have three genetic groups, subgroups. And so it lists mine, Southern U.S., Eastern and Midwestern U.S., Virginia, North Carolina, and West Virginia. And so when I select one of these, it will actually only give me the people that match in that genetic group. In other words, when they did their testing, they also had that genetic group. Now, where this can be very, very handy is when you combine it, okay? Uh, again, we're talking about the filters. Uh, when you combine it with some of the other possibilities, like right here, we have the all ethnicities. And so that's a, you know, a really good way of maybe breaking it down. Let's say one side of the family is somebody that I'm helping. You know, they might have an African ancestry, but then on the other side, they may have, you know, an England and UK. You can sort, you know, by uh, Middle Eastern, or you can sort by African, or you can sort by, you know, British, UK, Scotland, and do that along with the genetic groups to get only that subgroup of your total DNA match list that fits that criteria. So this is a pretty big announcement. Uh, I'm unaware of any way to search on Ancestry's genetic groups, although it does include information under its DNA stories. But this, we're talking about the match list, the DNA match list. And so when we're looking for a biological family, I think that this new tool to help us with the you know, genetic groups under the, remember it's all under filters, uh, but the genetic groups and then the ability to break it down by ethnicities and even locations and some other ways. I think that's going to help some people. Uh, I, I really do think that, you know, some people that watch this video, it'll actually break down some walls. Not for everybody, but it is a nice additional search feature. It's kind of like I wish uh, Ancestry had the ethnicities and had the groups over on theirs, uh, but they don't. Ancestor, my heritage has just announced it for theirs. So check it out if you have MyHeritage. If not, if you took your test on Ancestry, consider downloading the raw data file and uploading it over to MyHeritage so that you can take advantage of this and of the consistency checker for your tree. Download your tree in GEDCOM and put that through the consistency checker. That'll make a big difference in the future going forward. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you knew about it already. If you didn't, you know, let me know that too. And uh, you might pass this around to some of your other friends. They may not know it. And this might be that little thing that helps them. And then you would be the person that, you know, would be known for giving them the tip that helped them with their breakthrough. So uh, pass it around to some people that you think that this might help. All right. Talk to you later.